Hey guys, how's it going? Phil here from Phil Does That. Uh, I'm in the mobile command center today. <laughs> uh, Isabella is getting her senior pictures made out here at uh, the studio in Pelham. So uh, we'll do it from the iPhone. Hopefully this thing's working. Uh, we're going to talk about depression today. Uh, if you're just joining in, uh, I'm trying to do uh, 22 videos on uh, veterans uh, suicide awareness and uh, so far we've covered uh, guilt we covered guilt yesterday and then the uh, wow I'm having a having a senior moment right here anyway uh, I'm coming up with 22 uh, precursors to suicide and uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about depression today alright so uh, depression what what is it you know uh, I think everybody's experienced some form of depression at one time or another but uh, basically you get feelings I got a little sheet of notes here you get a feeling of hope, hopelessness and despair and uh, you know that's it's it's more than just being uh, oh, nightmares. Thanks, Laurelyn. Uh, guilt and nightmares. But basically, depression is more than just feeling uh, molly grubby or, uh, you know, having a, a setback. Uh, you get, uh, everybody reacts differently to depression, but mainly it's hopelessness and despair. And uh, a lot of people have a lot of anger and restlessness. And it, it changes uh how you feel how you think how you react how you function in daily life you know it affects work uh it affects your studies it affects the your eating your sleeping habits and uh makes it damn near impossible to enjoy your life but the good news is is that it's treatable all right um you can you can go to a a doc and uh, bring it up to their attention I highly recommend that bring it up to your to your medic or or a doctor uh, you can see a psychiatrist a psychologist uh, medical doctors they'll, they'll get you the help there's also uh, depression hotlines out there you know just hit up uh, Google or Siri you know they'll all lead you to the right place so um, you know, I've I've experienced depression in my life. Uh, you just, it, it's like every day you wake up and you're like, meh. You know, even though I got, I got like this this ginormous Humvee. You know, I got a beautiful house. I got uh, the coolest pets in the world. I got a family that loves me, but my life is meh. That's that's what it feels like with depression, you know. There's there's a lot of hopelessness and despair. Um, I had a a really hard time with it transitioning out of the military. Um, I didn't feel like I had any kind of uh, worth, or I couldn't contribute to society anymore because I lost my primary mission of. Uh, being in the army, being in the military. What's up, Raspberry? John Brown, good to see you, brother. I hope you're doing well and still diving. And Pat Baldwin, give mom and dad a hug for me if you see them before I do. I miss them terribly. But uh, depression sucks. You know, it, it hurts all the way down to your core. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. Like I said, you know, you can seek, seek medical help uh, seek, uh, seek out support groups and, uh, there's some habits that you can change to, uh, overcome depression yourself. Um, I hate going to the doctor. <laughs> so, uh, some things that I do is, uh, number one, I tell myself every day, I, I, Frank Philip Watson determined my attitude. It's not what's going on around me. It's not all these external factors. I determine my attitude for the day. 
if I wake up and I'm in a mood, there are some things that I can use to change it to a, hey, great mood. All right. Um, you know, Laura Lynn introduced me to the Hollis training and uh, Five to Thrive. I think that's the wording for it, Five to Thrive. Uh, anyway, I write down three or five things that I'm thankful for every day. And it's not the same exact things that I'm thankful for every day because some days uh, here recently, you know, I haven't been having a cup of coffee when I first wake up. So I'm not going to write down that I'm thankful for coffee if I'm not having it. You know, take 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 a take a moment in the morning when you wake up and think of things that that you can be thankful for. I'm thankful for this glorious beard. I'm thankful for warm weather. I'm thankful for Mr. Buster uh, cuddling up next to my feet. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for, holy, my past. I'm thankful for where I've been at. You know, I'm thankful for the experiences that I've had. I'm thankful for you guys uh, being there for me. Take that moment. And list out some things that you're thankful. Uh, what was it? Uh, count your blessings one by one. Um, another thing that you can do. Uh, exercise. <laughs> I hate running. I hate exercise. I hate doing push-ups. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Chief Span. Or Chris Span, I should say. Uh, but... Once you get into the habit of regular exercise, it releases all the hormones and cortisol and all this other stuff. Yeah, Laura Lynn says, uh, I'm thankful for my dark because it makes the light so much brighter. I remember Beavis and Butthead did an episode where they, they slapped each other and he's like, yeah, that sucks. And he's like, yeah, well, if it didn't suck, you wouldn't know what was awesome. Yeah, they were just slapping each other. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I feel better. So, yeah, you know, think of it that way. But anyway, exercise. Try doing some exercise uh, regular. Establish a daily habit of exercise. Mata, what's up, brother? Um, exercise. Quit drinking. <laughs> uh, everybody is like, man, life's so hard. I'm going to go have a whiskey and a beer. Guess what? It's a depressant. Uh, if you're depressed and you're drinking depressants, you're going to be ultra depressed. It, it doesn't help. It doesn't, uh, what's, what do you say, uh, it alleviates the, the symptoms? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't alleviate the symptoms. It doesn't do shit for you. It's up make you feel worse. Quit drinking. Hands down. Um, go see a doctor. Help other people. Maybe I'm fighting my my depression by trying to help other people through their stuff. This is a way for me to, to, to reach out and build my own support group. This is a way for me to reach out and help you develop a support group. You know that I'm, I'm there for you. You call me, I'm there for you. There, now you got a support group, right? <laughs> There's just two of us, but hey, guess what? We all suffer at one time or another and if we put ourselves out there for other people who are suffering or hey i got some great news uh maybe you're not suffering maybe you can help lift somebody else up with a positive uh life image with a positive life view with some positive energy imagine like if uh i could reach out to a stranger and touch them with that that sounds kind of weird, like Joe Biden. But imagine if I could if I could reach out to somebody that, that has no clue who I am or my experience, and I'm like, yeah, man, uh, my life uh, went through some really rough times, but here's something positive that came out of it. And they heard that. Then that's something to be thankful for. You know, I'm thankful for my past. I'm thankful for my dark. I'm thankful for my combat experience. I'm thankful for my military experience. I'm thankful 
for all the bad stuff that has happened in my life because I have grown so much stronger and I've overcame so much bullshit and that today I am thriving. You can do it too. Think about your brothers. Think about your friends. Think about your family. Reach out. We can fight this depression shit together and we can end suicide together. We can do it together. All right, guys, y'all have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. I love y'all. Mata, <laughs> miss you, brother. <laughs> Laura Lynn, thank you so much for, for supporting me. You're awesome. You guys be safe. Have a great week. Well, it's Friday, right? Great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. I'm out.